cowardly attack, teenage girl, 18, knocked out in street after telling a man who followed her from the club, I'm not that interested. I bet she failed to mention she probably bought her a drink earlier in the evening. Oh, this guy must be great at parties. Invite him in. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another video for the day. Now, we're going over r slash nice guys once again because that seems to be covering a lot of videos and I've actually noticed in the comments, everybody is saying, why don't you have any more subscribers? I'm not even kidding. <laughs> But that's it, let's get right into that content. Let's go. Hey, how are you? Good, thanks. What about you? Pretty good too. Having a night in. What are you doing tonight? I'm just at home at the moment, going to cousin soon. I was going to see if you wanted to hang, but your cousin is obviously way more important to you. Typical. Uh, I told you I'm busy for the next few days. Typical. We've spoken like it for a day. I was joking. <laughs> nice joke. Thank you so much. Uh, seriously though, have a good night. Talk to you soon. Didn't like the way you took that joke seriously and then you blunt with me? You put yourself above me like I had to impress you. It was gross. Delete the pics I sent you and please don't message me again. Thanks. Yeah, because God forbid I already have plans to see my family. You're just trying to get your whistle wet, dude. Hello. Hey. Hey, beautiful. How are you? I prefer not if you call me beautiful and I'm alright. Thanks for the concern. Why can't I call you beautiful? Well, I'm going to assume you're over the age of 21, correct? Or somewhere around there? I'm 21 exactly. LOL, just die. How about that? Jesus, we're going in hard, strap in! One, I'd prefer not to be called beautiful be when I don't feel comfortable with it. Two, I am under the age of 18. Alright, I'll think about it. Thanks, haha. <laughs> Alright. And has telling a woman to kill themselves after they reject your advances ever worked for you? Yep. Yeah, sure it did. Right. That's right, if you can't find anybody like me, you might as well kill yourself. Any females born after 1993 can't cook. All they know is McDonald's, charge they phone, be, se be bisexual, twerk, eat hot chips, and lie. Boy, what kind of ghetto ratchet upside down ass world do you live in? I'd li I've known many, many people who would love to be able to cook, and actually have cooked, and I've kind of cooked with them, and yeah, we kind of just made alcoholic drinks. I love my boyfriend so much, I could be like, hey, you want to go watch the grass grow? And he'd be like, hell yeah, that sounds like fun. So take it from me, and find yourself a boy who will do anything with you just to spend time with you and don't settle for any less. I'm like this, but I usually get shunned and think they have a, that I have ulterior motive because I'm against the norm. Hashtag nice guy problems. Then that's your million dollar question. Do you have any ulterior motives? Do you? Do you guy that has a smile that says mom take the picture? If she hasn't kissed you by the third date, she's there for the food. Yeah, sure, and this is probably coming from somebody who doesn't own a toothbrush. When you hold open a door for a girl and all she does is thank you. Yes, God forbid she doesn't suck you off. Pull over! Suck me off! If men flirted like birds, I've built you this beautiful house. In the end, you'll still get rejected. I know, right? Let me smash. I can't wait to shock you. Oh, behave. <laughs> Excuse me? Mm, yes, can't wait to we shag in your home. That's freaking disgusting. I have never once indicated I wanted that form. Get a grip. Sorry, I thought you implied it. Sorry. Get the frick. I never once implied it with you. I never even carried out a conversation with you, let alone want to see you in person. Never talk to me again. I honestly didn't even know that people still use shag as an actual serious term. I always thought it was just something to like save jokingly. Oh, oh, wow. Um, yeah, congratulations. You have less control than Austin Powers. But you just said that you have not transitioned. I don't think you have your story straight, young lady. That's all right, though. If you don't want to send me pictures, that's fine. That's not why I'm not sending pictures. I don't know you, and please, please, please do not call me young lady. That is very, very, very gross. I'm sorry, it's not usually like me to do that. Let's start over, okay? I don't want to. Please stop messaging me. What an asshole. And no, not the guy. You. And you're a guy, by the way. Nothing will change that. Not even mutilating yourself. He wanted proof that you were a transgender female, which is stupid in the first place. He was perfectly polite. I bet you would date him if he showed you a picture of his 12-inch chicken or a perfect six pack beforehand. Dumb slut, bitch. With all this gender stuff going around, I feel like really the only time you can really say you're not a guy, you're a girl or vice versa, is when it's like some, some guy trying to go into the women's rath bathroom and wearing like a trench coat and just saying, oh, I'm gonna identify as like a woman for five minutes or something. That just That's just downright creepy, somebody get him. I feel like anybody trying to make an effort to do this whole transitioning thing should be realized as whoever they are or whoever they feel like they are. I'm 23 years old with a real profession and no student loans and good intentions, but girls my age are still stuck up on Chad from Apple Beta Pi, who graduated two years ago with a degree in business with $100,000 in student loans, who lives at home and is unemployed. Really? And what have you been doing after college? I mean, did you even go to college, though? And really, what's that profession? I mean, if you work at Burger King and flip burgers, is that considered a profession? Okay, so this one's a super lengthy one, so I'm gonna have to do it just page by page because the quality would get so shitty. You won't ruin it, but thank you for not trying to do so. Like I said, if you want a friend, I can be that, but if it's more, then no. I really want another chance with you. I know
know I don't deserve it, but I know I know I'm better now. I want to know the, you more than I got to know you. I want to stay up until 5 a.m. talking every night, no matter how bad it screws me up for the morning classes. I respect your rejection, though. I just want to know my heart's content. There's still a special place that I keep for you there. If you ever want to reconsider or just talk to me, and then you're, I'm in the mood, then I'm here at this location. I know I was a dick, but I'm trying really hard to be better. Thank you for saying that. I'm sure you're trying to better yourself, and I do believe in you. I think you absolutely have the uh, capability to keep getting better, but I'm not the person for you, and I never will be. You'll find someone who tastes suit your own, and whose personality matches your own. It gets you. Just hold out and focus on yourself until then. Best of luck, dude. Please don't go. It sounded like you were going, haha. <laughs> I was just going along with you. Hey, I'm here, though I will be heading up bed soon. Think about it. Think about what? What I said. I'm going to clarify again. There is no chance of romance between us. I'm happily in a very serious relationship and I'm not interested. Friendships, sure, but that's it. So no, I'm sorry, I won't think about it. You would have said the same thing to your ex while you and I were dating, so just think about it. You really don't, do not want my honest response to that, but suffice it to say that is very, very wrong. Well, you would have left me. No, I'm not that kind of person, but I know that even if we had stayed together, I wouldn't have found it found in you what I needed in a partner. So eventually, we would have broken up. That's not the case. This is someone I am deeply in love with and intend to be with forever, if possible. Okay, you didn't break up with me, by the way. Is it that? Is it what you told your friends? That's what I thought happened? Okay, I remember it differently. If it's important to you, then we could say you broke up with me. It's honestly not important to me, just my interpretation of what happened. I'm sure it is. If it's something that sticks out to you as a matter of pride, I can absolutely say you broke up with me or we decide to split. It really doesn't matter to me, there's no shame in it. I was actually suggesting that you were protecting your own ego. No one's around to care about the semantics of it in my life, so it makes no difference. I absolutely ended things. Okay, you ended things. You told people though, I'm assuming, and here I thought you were taking my rejection well. Damn, I had to find some something to be mad at me for. I'm just calling out an egoist when I see one. Yes, that's what I told, like, the three people who need to know. You're literally a freaking whale and you think you broke up with me? Frick off. Bye. Damn, that took a turn. Uh, ooh, the whale noises, yeah. Way to embrace a deadly disease. You go, girl. Catch you at the farm. Ten minutes later. You're fat. Dude, why are you still messaging me? Like, I get it. You get hurt, upset, and you lash out in anger and insults. You don't need to do that. No one is judging you this two-person conversation. Dude, why are you still messaging me? I didn't lose anything. I know you meant that to annoy me, but I legitimately made me laugh. Thank you for that, even though it wasn't intentional. Your assessment is completely wrong. I'm venting and saying the stuff I couldn't say because I was tr still trying to smash. Your vagina smelled like shit and probably haven't been able to reach under your stomach to clean yourself for years. I'm not sure it's chronic illness because you're weight gain, but you need to get on top of it. I'm seriously worried about your heart. Like, I'm not even being funny. You realize gotten out of hand, right? Oh yes, absolutely. Very much out of hand. I wish you the best. I really do. I hope that that has made you feel better and that in the future you find someone great for you. Bye. Alright, you can stop messaging me. Thanks. It, 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 it didn't actually make me feel better. Thanks. I was That was immature at the best. Mm-hmm. I am not feeling good about myself, and you just made me feel really undesirable, and I couldn't handle it, so I lashed out. I apologize. Aw, oh, look, he's fragile. I know you weren't trying to do were just to be firm in your rejection. I'm obviously not doing right now, so I won't bother you anymore. Alright, gate safe. The one thing I don't think I'll ever be able to understand about nice guys is the whole raging thing at the end. Like, seriously, you got so mad that she rejected you that he decided to call her fat and solidify that to make sure that you have absolutely no chances whatsoever? Well, congratulations, the person you just called fat was somebody you also had feelings for and wanted physically. Alright, that's gonna have to be it for the video. If you would like what you have seen, be sure to like the video and comment down below what you liked about the video and consider subscribing to the channel and if you do, turn on those notifications. I will be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you and bye-bye.